I am adding a fourth server rack battery to my camper. I now have the world's most powerful truck camper. I know I'm kind of going overboard with it a little bit, but I like it. Like I said, you show me another truck camper with 1600 watts of solar on the roof. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we are in Louisiana. That's right, we came down to see my dad, which I will introduce you to him in a minute. But the uh, main thing on this video is something special happening to the truck camper today. Came down here to see my dad and uh, want to do a little work to it. I am adding a fourth server rack battery to my camper. So I will have four 24 volt, 200 amp hour batteries in it. That is massive in a truck camper. Uh, for those of you that are just tuning in, let you know, and I will show it to you in a minute. 1600 watts of solar up there on the roof on a folding solar panel and Victron equipment inside with server rack batteries. So it's pretty cool. I am going to venture to say that I now have the world's most powerful truck camper. I can camp anywhere, no generator needed. And the three batteries have been great, but I would like a little more capacity to give me a few more days. We did that camp trip not long ago, a couple, uh, few weeks ago, where I went two days, day and night, day and night. And I had, uh, I think it was 15% left in my batteries and we ran the AC the whole time. So um, let's go in there and show you what I got going on, man. Pretty cool, I'm very excited about it. All right, so let's go in the truck camper here and show you. Now, like I said, for the people that are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. There's my Victron, all 24 volt. Let me climb up in there where you can get a good look at it. I got it opened. So right there. There she is, man. So right here, I took apart our little uh, seating area that we built around the three batteries that were here. So there's the two server rack batteries, and there's my third one, the master battery. And we're about to add this fourth one. So it's going to give me a massive battery bank right here in my truck camper, man. Pretty excited. Something I've been wanting to do for a while. I've been wanting to do it. And uh, as you know, we work with Signature Solar. Uh, they didn't give me the battery for free. I promise you that. My channel ain't that big. I don't get free stuff. But uh, they gave me a little discount on it. And uh, also worked with them on all my solar equipment. They've been really freaking great to work with, man. And they're like two hours from my house. <laughs> Any problems, questions, you know, I call their tech department. I talk to somebody from Texas that I can communicate with. It's not like calling the lead time or any mother companies, you know. And you're going to get somebody in China if you get them when you need them. But uh, I can't say enough great things about Signature Solar. Um, that being said, um, we, you know, we are affiliates with them. So if you ever need anything solar, EG4, just whatever, go look at their website, man. They run amazing deals on solar panels, whatnot. Go check them out. I'll leave a link in the description and a coupon code to save you a little bit of money. Help you out if you ever want to get anything. You know, Victron equipment, it don't matter. Just go look at their website, and check it out. But anyway, moving along, you know, I wanted this to be about the truck camper, but man, you guys, you got to meet my dad. He is 73, I think, 73. Um, wild man. He has got skills that freaking unmatched, man. I, I have a hard time keeping up. I can't keep up with him. But, uh, you know, we built this truck camper. We did all the work on it, remodeled it, basically re completely rebuilt it, told, tore the whole front cab over off of it, and I rebuilt it, me and a wife. And you might want to know where I get the skill set from. And it's this old man right here that I'm fixing to take you over there to meet. He has got a 55 Ford Crown Vic that he's been working on. And uh, I got to throw it in here, man. You guys have got to see it. And uh, I'll show some video or some photos in here of what it looked like when he got it just a year ago. And uh, it's going to truly blow your mind. He's done this by himself. This was the f actually like the first car that he ever had. I think he was 14. He said he bought a 55 crown bait from his brother for 50 bucks. And uh, so he always wanted another one. So he got him one right here. Look at that, y'all. How you like that, huh? He is the Dad, what are you doing, buddy? I'm trying to put my car together. <laughs> you trying to put your car together? 
Yeah, buddy. I'm showing everybody on here what you got going on, man. What was the story? You had this car when you were... Not, this, not this particular car, but... I drove a car like this when I was 15 years old. That was my first car. I paid $50 for it. I bought this junkyard ready for 5000 and yeah, and it'll be I'm gonna put pictures in the video of it. People can see what it looked like just a year ago. Man, he, guys, he did the floorboards in it. Put all new floor pans in it, front to back. Change the dash. I put a tilt. A tilt. I put a tilt steering chrome column in from. A, I did it. It's a. Uh, I'm proud of my old car. I mean. Unbelievable of where, guys, you don't understand what this car looked like. I mean, it was horrible. Go ahead and pop your hood. He didn't have the motor in it quite. He didn't have the motor in it yet. What motor are you going with? The Ford 420 uh, 347 Stroker. Look at this, y'all. Isn't that something? He has put a lot of work in here. What, you getting a motor from Summit? Summit Racing? Uh, no, it's going to come from Blueprint. Oh, Blueprint? Blueprint, Blueprint engine. Well, Summit sells them, too. There you have it. 55 Ford Crown Vic. She's a beaut, Clark. Tell the people hi, Daddy. Hey, buddy. You hey. Me, hey, tell them if they need their car fixed or restored to come to you. Oh, no, I don't want no more cars. <laughs> this is my last project. Two. That's it, man. It's coming together wonderful. Such a beautiful car. boy that's right there you go guys you have now met my dad call him the master oh, oh fella something else man uh, i don't know about the master yeah don't let him lie to you don't let him lie to you going back to this so what i got going on right now i am currently you know i, I don't have much sun today and i didn't bring my 30 amp cord to charge the batteries up because we stayed in here last night so I'm currently draining my new battery to match the voltage of my existing three batteries and trying to get my percentages the same of all the batteries before I introduce the fourth battery to the system and tie in all my communications and get everything going to the servo. So working on that right now, she's gonna to come together. I should have it done here next, eh, probably in the next hour. I've got the air conditioner running, draining that battery, like I said. But um, that being said, man, let me, uh, oof, damn wasp was in here. This is going to be so cool. For a truck camper, I'm, I'm claiming the world's most powerful. World's most powerful. I don't know of another truck camper out there with uh, 800 amp hours with 24 volt batteries in it. Show me one. I don't know of one, man. I know I'm kind of going overboard with it a little bit, but I like it. I really like it. I have a lot of fun with it. All right, we're getting closer. So right now I've got the protocol set on the master battery. I have got all voltages pretty close to the same. So there is all four of my server rack batteries. EG4 LL V2s. That's how they're all going to sit. Just like that. 
So right now what I got to do is I got to make another positive cable because my, now that I'm further out, my positive cable is not long enough. So I need to go over here and make a positive cable real quick. All right guys, here we are. We're going to make a battery cable. That's the one we took out of it. This is going to be the new one. So we are going to put lugs on the end of it, crimp them. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. Now, if you want to do this, you can get the stuff off Amazon. Relatively cheap. Easy to get. Real simple. Terminal kit. It's got the shrink wrap, everything with it. All the different size lugs you'll need. All copper. And then here's your hydraulic crimping machine. Right there, all the different dies. You get that off Amazon, relatively cheap. But I'll leave some links in the description if uh, you're ever looking for anything like that, you'll know where to get it. So right here, you'll just take, kind of put your lug up next to it, hold your finger there, let you know that's how much you need to tear back of the insulation. Put your little razor knife and just cut it back, try not to cut any of the strands of copper. You want to keep as many of them as you can. And there you go. Hold them together and you put your lug in there. Then you crimp it. There you go. Put your little dies in there. And there you have it. Crimp lug. Put your heat shrink on. Put your heat shrink on first. Don't do like I did. Let's get your heat gun on high there. You want to stay on your heat shrink long enough to let that glue seep out. That's what's going to actually hold it. You can see the glue start working its way out around the heat shrink. There you have it. So we're going to repeat the same thing on this end. Then we'll get back in the camper and get it installed. All right, we got the cable made. And I'm going to feed it. He's going to feed it into me on this side. We're going to get her passed through. Connect that back to our shutoff switch. All right, and if you notice here, I'm pulling my negative from this end, my positive from this end. All four of these batteries are in parallel. That'll help them stay even. But, uh, when you drain them, it'll kind of even it out. All right, going over it real quick. I'll show you what we did here. That's all four batteries parallel together. Negative on the far end, positive on this end. I kept this. I kept my same master battery, so I didn't have to change the protocol. I just reset all the dip switches to uh, recognize that the, there's a third battery in there, so it fell in line. So now we are going to power everything up and see what we got. Turn all our BMSs on. I don't know if you can see that in here. Everything's turned on. We flip the breaker to the master. In here, here, and here. All right, here we go. Everything's beeping. So it's going to take the Victron a second to boot up. So I'm thinking I did everything right with the communications. It's been a while since I've done it, so there may be a part two. I may have to redo it, but let's take a look at it together and see if it recognizes the batteries. So there we go. Batteries at 77%. Air conditioner's on right now. Starlink's on. Everything's pulling 1230. Solar's bringing in seven, eight hundred. It's a real cloudy day, so it's kind of not getting the best solar today. Look, jumps up to 11, 1200 watts of solar. That's some clouds moving through. There we go. I think that was a success. We've got four batteries in now. I can't express to y'all enough how, like, this is real intimidating when you first start doing it, but this is the first system I've ever done. Just do a little research. Do you know, watch YouTube videos and you can do it too. If I can do it, anybody can do it. 
So don't don't let it be intimidating. If it's something you want to get into, jump out there and do it. All right, so let me get a few things buttoned up here and I'll get back with y'all. All right, there we are. So let me let you look at this. We I got the battery box built. There we go. There's the battery box. I still got to do a little trim. And we got the black cushion there that goes on top of it. I've got to make the new cushion a little wider. Put some trim on it. And I got to come up with something here that'll cover that up. I might do some plexiglass or... I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do to cover those terminals. I'm going to take a chance of anything hitting them. But uh, there you have it. We are now looking at 800 amp hours of 24 volt in our truck camper. So in the 12 volt world, you're looking at 1600 amp hours of 12 volt if it was 12 volt. So basically 16 100 amp hour batteries would take to equal what I have right there. Really like 17, but uh, who's counting? So there we go. She's all installed. Everything is communicating freaking awesome. We'll go to EG4. Uh, details. You see right there? We got four online. And right there, buddy, 800 amp hours at 24 volts. There you have it. My claim to the world's most powerful truck camper. It's my title now. Some of you guys might not have seen this. So that's the rack going up. She's going into tilt mode right now. I'm in the shade right now, so like I said before, you know, it's not gonna win any races going up, but she gives me tilt action, which really, really works out good in the winter time. I mean, it made a three, 400 watt difference in what I was pulling in. And as the day goes on, I can lower them a little bit, a little bit. Around midday, one o'clock, I'll just lay them flat. And I have gotten 15, 1600 watts out of these. I mean, no, no, I've gotten 1,900 watts out of these 1,600 watt panels. So it's done. I couldn't really ask for it to be any better. I'm really, really pleased with it. There you go. That is fully extended out. Full length. I'm pretty proud of it. Like I said, you show me another truck camper with 1600 watts of solar on the roof. A truck camper this small, no slides. It's a Lance 915. We have put a ton of work into this little baby. So therefore we are proud of it. I got, I'll never get rid of this camper. Like this one is, this is a lifer. This one's stuck with me for life. I don't think there's any amount of money that could get this thing from me. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to drop this video off right here. Spend some time visiting the old man. Get a little, another view, look at his car there for you. Oh, she's a beaut, man. Well, Pops. What's that mean? Tell my YouTube, YouTube friends bye. What's that now? Tell all my YouTube friends bye. See y'all later. Appreciate. Look at that. Look at it. Comment on it. Sub subscribe to the dang. Subscribe to the channel. He said subscribe to the channel. <laughs> anyway. Whew. So. That's going to wrap this up. We'll see y'all on the next video. See y'all later, man.